Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you my henna routine, how I mix it and prepare it and basically how I apply it to my hair. So this has already had one henna application but I'm going to go over some bits with a new application and it's a full henna. Hi guys, so this is a henna I use. It's it's pure organic, it's vital organic henna powder and it's 100% natural so there's nothing added into it this is off amazon and it's about seven pound for this packet this does go a long way this can do my whole head with some leftover so i'm thinking if you're doing your roots i would only use half this packet or even a quarter because it does go a long way so i'm going to take this out of the packet and show you what it looks like and i'm going to show you how i mix it and basically prepare it okay guys so once you open the main foil packet there's this little packet inside of the henna powder um, it's really finely ground this brand so that's why I really like it because it's really smooth and easy to mix together so I'm going to put it in the bowl I'm just using a glass bowl which I normally make lasagna in but yeah I'm going to put it all in there I'm going to use all of this today because I want to do my whole head and then I'm going to put well, I'll show you what it looks like now this is the henna powder in the bowl put your back there and then I'm going to use this has been boiled this water I'm just going to basically add a bit I'm going to get something to mix it with, that would be helpful. I'm just using a pumpkin um, to get the seeds out, I'm just using this because it's plastic. They say you shouldn't really use metal with henna, but I think that's just henna that's got like metallic salts in, so this one should be okay, but I just use something plastic in case. I'm going to add more water because this is quite powdery, so you basically just want to mix it all in until it's like a smooth paste so you just mix it all together this definitely needs a lot more water in it but if you add water gradually um, it's easier because if you add too much at once and you're kind of stuffed <laughs> so if you add it every now and again you can see what you want so just keep mixing it until you think it's okay Okay guys, so I have tried to mix it as well as I can um, with this pumpkin thing but I've gone in with a plastic fork because I'm really struggling to get the lumps out. I would make more effort getting the lumps out but I am kind of against time so this will do. It's not the best consistency but it will work fine. It's just if you get the lumps out it's not as messy when you apply it because when it's really lumpy when it goes in your hair the lumps just basically flake off and go everywhere but that's the best I can do for now. Um, then I'm going to add this lemon juice. I'm just going to add a more. Well, I'll show you. Mm, that's about enough. I add that in just for the acidic um, component. The component, and this basically helps the henna to release the dye, so it's ready. So mix that all in, and then you're all ready to cover it. I'm just going to cover it with a tea towel and leave it on the table for a good few hours. Okay guys, I'm going to leave this henna on the table for about 6 hours, I'm going to put it on at 4 o'clock so by then it would have been about 6 hours, by then it should have definitely released the dye. So I'm going to cover it up with this tea towel and make sure, ooh, <laughs> and make sure the room's nice and warm to make sure the dye releases so I'll come back later when I apply it. Okay guys, so the henna's been sitting out for about 5 hours. It is near enough ready, um, you can see that the tea towel has dripped and stayed in the table but you actually look around the henna, there's like an orange line so that this is like, but if you see that you know the henna's ready to go I'm going to give it another hour and I'm going to apply it Okay guys, so the henna is ready, I'm about to come put it on my hair I've got towels down, a bin bag to put on in a minute once it's on but I've split my hair into three sections, so I've got a bottom section, a middle and a top section so hopefully I can get this on um, I'm going to focus it mainly on the ends because that's why I wasn't too happy with the colour so hopefully if I've got the ends the colour would deepen there so yeah I'll let you know <laughs> once it's on and basically to put it on I'm just going to drag it through and try and get it on my roots so I'll show you when I wash it out okay guys so it's all applied um, it's super messy I am covered in it, so I'm just going to clean up with that much left out of that whole pack and I put loads on my head so you get so much in the packet. So I'm going to leave this on for four hours, three and a half to four hours and wash it off. And I'll show you what the bath looks like after I washed it off. But then I'll show you probably in the morning what the colour's like and how well it's covered. Okay guys, this was the colour of the bath once I'd um, washed it all off. Um, it is quite easy to clean compared to the Lush one. 
And I also washed it off with this Garnier shampoo and hair mask. Okay guys, this is my hair the next morning once it dried and had set. Um, for some reason my fringe is a lot darker than the rest of my hair, but I have read online that if you freshly hang a hair and then apply heat, like a hair straightener, the colour will darken dramatically compared to the rest of your hair. So I think that's what's happened. I'm going to try and correct it by using a special spray on Amazon called Sun something. It's like a hair sun lemon spray, which is basically meant to lighten henna, which it can do. So we're going to give that a go, but overall the colour is really even, apart from the fringe. And I really like how vibrant it is, and the bits on the end have covered it. Thank you for watching the video, and if you have any questions or would like to tell me why my fringe went so dark, uh, feel free to comment below. Thank you.